guys, so I definitely had to do a reaction video to the Pretty Little Liars betrayal. Um, the another person on Ace Team was revealed, and I just had to do a reaction video because everybody is talking about it, and I need to share my thoughts. And I did a reaction video to the first. A reveal which was Mona and I talked about how I was so disappointed I thought it was a really obvious choice and this episode totally delivered in season three I've been missing the whole suspense of Pretty Little Liars um, for the past two seasons they've had suspense and danger and it's been kind of stagnant for this half of season three so um, I am very happy with the episode. I'm very happy with the reveal. I actually have the um, their little tracker thing um, of the suspect tracker and it's 12 people and they said that it was definitely going to be one of the 12 people that was going to betray um, the four girls and the four girls are on it. Um, I think just to throw us off because I looked in the TV guide and it said somebody close to the four girls will betray them so that knocks out four of them so the people that were suspects um, Ashley which was Hannah's mom Byron Caleb um, Ezra Lucas Melissa Paige and Toby and the four girls so I thought it might be Byron Arya's mom Arya's dad because he has been so MIA, and I tweeted, and I was, I was like, he was so MIA, and I put A, ha. Huh? Um, because he's just been, like, not in the episode, so he must be on the A, whatever, and he's just not an obvious choice, and I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted it to be a shocker, and it was. Um, so right now I'm going to reveal who they had as the betrayer um so please exit out spoiler alert and the person on ace team is toby i was so excited i loved it and hated it at the same time mostly loved it i was shocked like everybody else and i am still shocked <laughs> i just i loved the reveal i didn't think it was obvious i thought it was just a shocker my eyes were like huge like what um yeah so that to get that out of the way Toby is on a team and I'm so happy that they like shocked us I do have suspicions about Ren um but okay so um Mona and Toby were working together this episode and there are a lot of theories going around right now that Toby is not really a betrayer. He is kind of like a double agent and he is protecting Spencer by getting closer to the enemy. Um, which totally makes sense to me and I do believe this. I, I believe they would go in, in that direction. So I, I agree with this theory. I think it's a very plausible one. Um, I kind of want him to be evil just for the suspense factor and the whole shock factor. Um, but I did, I did actually just rewatch the episode because the whole, when I was watching it for the first time, I was just like, okay, who's A? Who's A? Who's the betrayer? Just tell me. Just tell me. And obviously it's the last second, so I missed things and I rewatched it. And when Toby was hugging um, Spencer goodbye, he didn't seem like, he didn't have this like evil look on his face, like, oh, I'm gonna miss you, evil look, when she's not looking. Um, like, Mona does that, like, she has this evil look about her. Um, to me, it kind of, his look seemed like, I hope she doesn't find out, and I'm scared that she might find out, because I care about her. And I really don't think that Toby, unless he has some like really unless he's really crazy um like Mona apparently I don't think that he would do anything to really hurt Spencer and um I was watching Amarique's or Allison's reaction video and she said something interesting like Toby actually said um to Spencer if you're not going to tell me what's going on I'm going to find out for myself and I think that kind of really hints to that theory that he's a double agent um definitely looking forward to them developing the storyline because oh my god Toby is on Ace team and it's a shocker um 
the other thing is that Nate is not who he appears um he is Maya's he said he's Maya's cousin um he is apparently Maya's stalker and I had this suspicion about Nate and maybe I just watched too much SVU but the way he was so angry at Jenna after knowing her for a couple of days I mean she did stand him up but he was very angry in the way that like on SVU men are angry at women and he's just a very angry person so I got this weird vibe from him like you're creepy um so keeping an eye on you and turn he never actually said like in his own words I killed Maya um he just kept saying like Emily took Maya away from me and Emily hurt me because she took Maya away um but she he never said I killed her because you know she's dead because I killed her um he had some there was a picture of his foot with Maya like he took the picture and the his foot and that's how you know Emily found out um and I don't know I think I don't know I hope they explore that um also in the light lighthouse um Caleb I knew something was gonna happen to Caleb just with the gun they were so focused on the gun and how he took the gun and now he has the gun and something's gonna happen um you know they start out with the beginning um you know somebody is in the ambulance and Hannah's crying so it I thought it, it was either Caleb or her mom and it's Caleb he got shot but apparently he's alive and I read a interview with um Tyler the guy that plays um the guy that plays Caleb and he said that you know Caleb's fine so apparently you get shot on pretty low liars and you do survive and um they didn't show who shot him which I have a suspicion about um because they showed the shot right after Emily and Caleb are hugging she just stabbed Nate or Lyndon and then they and then it's the shot and Nate wasn't fully dead I mean he was still kind of moving around so maybe he took that gun and shot um Caleb but I think it might be somebody from A and now Emily might know because she was very distracted um, when they were taking their statement and with the ambulance is right there and the cops are there it could just be you know she's traumatized because she just stabbed a guy and all of this just happened and Nate is not Nate but I think that she knows something I think that something ha happened in that lighthouse and I hope they you know tell us and it's not just like oh hey Nate shot Caleb and died um yeah I don't know and I don't know how Caleb was shot but Emily wasn't shot so maybe they weren't hugging when that happened I don't know um I was just very excited I thought the episode was really good um I'm excited for the Halloween episode because at the very last scene where um right after they reveal Toby um they show I think it was Toby in the black hoodie um where he's calling about the Halloween um and he was saying like in his distorted voice like I'll have two tickets and my subtitles did say that it was Toby but and it looked like Toby's you know general outline so who's the second ticket for is it for spencer is it for somebody on ace team is it for mona because she said that she would see him soon several things did bother me i know i'm like going off on like tangents several things bothered me in the episode one how does a mental patient just walk out and walk back in and somehow get an id um my suspicion of ren was going off and two what's going on with aria like she's just bothering me um she just i don't know i feel like she's either with the girls or with ezra in his apartment and they don't go anywhere they're just in his apartment and i just i didn't really i really didn't like that she went to see maggie in her own secret way like how she saw she went to see jenna i think it was the first season she went to see jenna and she made up a name um i don't know it's like her weird stalker 
I don't know. Um, she just went to see Maggie and she found out that, you know, Ezra has a son. I don't understand why when Maggie went to um, Ezra's apartment and surprise, this is Arya. I don't understand why Arya didn't just tell Ezra like, oh hey, she has a baby, you have a son, um, I went to see her because now um, Maggie convinced her not to tell by saying, I know who you, I know who you really are, Anna, or something like referencing the fact that she lied and she did go to visit Maggie. But now, I think it's a bigger lie, and I don't think it would have been that big of a deal to, you know, get caught that you you went to see Maggie and you saw that she has a son, and now she's in this huge lie that's like, oh hey your ex-girlfriend that has a son with you went to visit you and I was there with the three of you and I didn't say anything and now I'll, I'll just keep lying I think it's just it'll be a bigger thing when it comes out and I think that's gonna be Ezra and Arya problems big time um yeah so definitely exciting episode I wasn't so much excited about you know I wasn't so much interested in the whole Arya and her secrets and everything. I was excited about the Toby, the Toby reveal. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited for them to really explore that. And I'm excited for the Halloween episode on October 23rd because Toby will be there with a somebody, um, maybe somebody on A's team. And... I'm just very excited like they they look like they it just looks like a lot of suspense um so I'm very excited for the costumes and the Halloween and yeah um yeah so definitely let me know what you guys think um I know that people were so shocked um people on Twitter were telling me how oh my god Toby um yeah so please let me know what you guys thought of the betrayal the half mid-season finale thing that they do um please let me know what you think and what you think about toby is he good is he bad is he really a or is he just faking being a like keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer type of thing yeah so please let me know what you think let me know your theories i love hearing pretty low liar theories um yeah so thank you for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye